Okay, I wanted to quickly talk about a card effect by Jason Ladani. Now, many of his card effects are pure sleight of hand, but every once in a while, he actually shows his viewers a card trick that they can genuinely perform without needing any sleight of hand. And this is one of the rare exceptions here. So he's using the Hummer principle. Now, I'll add a link in the description below, not only to his original performance, and I encourage you to take a look at it because it's very well done, but also I'll add a link to an entire playlist that talks about the underlying principle for this effect that can be used in countless ways in card magic. And I have many, many examples of applications of it, as well as detailed explanations of what is going on with the Hummer principle. Okay, so this is a famous foundational principle in mathematical card magic. Okay, so I'll play some of his video here and then do a explanation of the steps along the way. Okay, so he has the four aces. And now he has 12 cards, so he's just confirming that. Now you just need an even number of cards. You don't need 12. Any even number will do. And then what he does is he, he deals out three on each. And it's making it look like it's a setup for a very different effect, okay, where you have to have them equally spaced. Well, that's a total red herring because you don't. <laughs> so these cards can be mixed thoroughly. They truly, truly can, okay? Now, for those who understand the Hummer principle or would like to, on my channel, I teach that if you have a situation like this where some cards are face up and others are face down, and at the end, you want these aces facing the same way, a way to lock that in is to flip over every other card. Now, what he's going to do is equivalent to this. He's going to deal down half the cards, which is eight, and then he's going to flip that half and then alternately interlace them, okay? So it's going to have the same effect as just flipping over every other card. Sorry, I'm going off the <laughs> screen there. Okay, so this is the way to protect a packet for which you want certain cards facing one direction. You flip over every other card, okay? Now this kind of organization is now, quote, impervious to what's called the Hummer Shuffle, okay? And the Hummer Shuffle, which he doesn't really use here because he's keeping his video short. In fact, he'll go immediately to the reveal here in a second. But with the Hummer Shuffle, you're allowed to randomly cut and then flip any even number of cards. So maybe flip two cards, random cut, flip four, random cut, and so forth. You can even do a table Hummer Shuffle. This is where you push off um, even piles of cards. It can be two, four, six, eight, whatever you like. And then you're actually free to randomly stack and or flip these, <laughs> which is crazy. So this is, a, this is a Hummer Shuffle, what I've just shown you. And so I explained this all in detail. And it just makes what appears to be a greater mess of the cards here, okay? But there's a hidden structure here, and that structure is going to be revealed when we do anything equivalent to flipping over every other card a second time, okay? So we could do that by me just dealing down, like down, flip, down, flip, down, flip with these cards, and you'll find that all of the aces are facing one way. Another great way to do it is to just deal them out into four, since, since we have 16 cards here, Deal it out into four piles of four cards each, which is what he does. So I'll go ahead and play the video there. So you can deal them from left to right, right to left, into four piles of four cards each. Now he gives the spectator the option to fold the packets from left to right or right to left, like you're folding the pages of a book. Well, you can not only do that, but you can also take the inside, fold them outward, or the outside and fold them inward. Now he just did a, like a right to left fold. Okay, so we could go like that and then flip either one of these like that. And what's gonna happen is all of the aces are going to be facing the same way yet again. Okay, so the Humber principle is a powerful principle. It is one you can use right away. And he shows you a, a very slick, simple, 
application of it that really anyone can do without understanding the principle itself, okay? But if you understand the principle, then you can start to build your own routines and come up with variations that no one has seen before that are just mind-blowing. Okay, so this is a great example of the Hummer principle in action, and I encourage you to watch his video, as well as take a look at the playlist in which I explain the Hummer principle and give many applications of this powerful principle by Bob Hummer. So thank you for watching, and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.